An electrostatic force is a non-contact force between two charged objects. It's a bit like the non-contact force of gravity, which acts between objects with mass. But instead of mass, it's electric charge that determines the property of electrostatic forces. Firstly, objects with opposite charges will attract each other. This means if we have a positively charged object and a negatively charged object, then there will be an attractive force between them. This could be a proton and an electron, or two spheres we've given charge to. We usually refer to this type of force as an electrostatic attraction. Remember that all forces cause an equal and opposite force. So when a positive object attracts a negative object, the negative object will also be attracting the positive object. But what about objects that don't have opposite charges? Well, objects with like charges will repel each other. Now, by like, we don't mean the same size, just the same sign. So we could be referring to two positive charges or two negative charges. Since the two positive charges have like charges, they'll experience forces that will push them away from each other. We can also say the same for the two negative charges. These forces we call electrostatic repulsion. Now, how do these forces relate to objects with static charge? Objects with a static charge can experience electrostatic forces. Remember that objects gain static charge when they gain or lose electrons. For example, if we rub a perspex rod with a cloth, the cloth will remove electrons from the rod, meaning the rod is now positively charged. This means it can now cause electrostatic forces. For example, a charged rod will cause water from a tap to bend. You can try this experiment at home or in a lab. When you bring the charged positive rod near a flowing tap, you'll see the water bend towards it. This is because there is an electrostatic attraction between the charged rod and the water. Now, this isn't something you'll have to explain for a physics exam, but the reason the water can experience this attraction is because water molecules have a positive part and a negative part. So the negative parts can be attracted to the rod. What's another way we can demonstrate electrostatic forces? Rubbing a balloon against your hair will cause your hair to be pulled towards the balloon. Again, this is something you can try at home. When we rub the balloon like this, it causes electrons to be transferred from our hair to the balloon. So this is another example of static charge. The balloon is now negatively charged, while our hair is now positively charged. Then since we have opposite charges, there will be an electrostatic attraction between our hair and the balloon. It won't be a particularly strong force, but since our hair is light, it's enough to pull it towards the balloon and stick to it. This example comes up frequently in exams, so make sure you can explain how this demonstrates static charge and electrostatic forces. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.